Hey Nim Tags and welcome, this is Ashram Hill, my tech helping you go from newbie to techie. This is my friend Alvin again and we're here to do a more in-depth uh, tutorial on fuses. I'm going to let him give the explanation. We have on the table today a selection of fuses that you will come across in domestic equipment. The first four are mains fuses, the type of fuse you will find in your domestic plug. Now, a lot of people are not aware there are different colours. Now, we have brown, which is your standard 13 amp. We have black, which is 5 amp and 7 amp. Um, the 7 amp seems to be disappearing these days and it, it's nearly all 5 amp and the red which is 3 amp now these are coloured so that you can tell the difference depending on what product you're using or what load you're using on that 13 amp plug the brown one, the 13 amp, the largest of the four, is for fires, heating appliances, anything, kettles, anything that uses a large amount of current. Your 5 and 7 amp is for um, grinders, mixers, small items um, that use about um, about an amp of, 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 of um, one sort of kilowatt power. So the amperage, so you get one kilowatt is about five amps. So it's about a thousand watts. And the red one is the three amp one, is for uh, lighting, you know, for table lamps, um, small items that you would have, bedside lamps, that sort of thing. So you have a lower rating. So if anything goes wrong, it, it will pop at a much lower rate. I mean, you can't use a three amp fuse in a fire, an electric fire, because that, that would draw 13 amps, which obviously wouldn't be enough. The other two here are for internal things in radios, clock radios, um, the internal fuses. There's two types. There's a slow blow which is the one that looks like it's got a spring in it and the fast blow is the straight one that's a delay fuse to allow for surges so when you switch on you get a current surge that will absorb that uh, without popping the other one is a fast blow as soon as you get any problems that will pop immediately they're 20 mil and they're normal things you would find inside a domestic appliance the other type of fuse this is a soldered in fuse so you would need to be able to solder that that is used in again domestic equipment very common in satellite receivers um, and equipment of that type um, but again you need to be able to solder to be able to change that now this uh, this one is very very common today um, a lot of people don't know what they are, they think they're diodes. It is a thermal fuse, so it has a current value and it has a, a temperature value. They use them on portable fires, convection heaters, uh, oil cooking appliances where you've got fat fryers and things like that. So this one is 170 degrees and 10 amps and if you exceed the 10 amps it will blow and if you can see exceed the 175 degrees it will blow so it's a two-way fuse it is thermal and it is current now they use that in most electric fires fan heaters so if a fan heater fell over and got hot that would blow but very very common failure in a lot of domestic appliances today so they're the range of fuses that you would find in your home environment and again you tested with a meter on the continuity on the low range 
they should all read a short circuit or zero or very very low resistance but the color codes on your mains plugs is very important if you can't read what it is you can tell by the color so if all the wording's gone you can tell by the color what the rating of the fuse is is there a chart somewhere we can look up the color and match with the ratings there possibly is and i would think you would find it google it you'll find it on the internet there's bound to be someone somewhere got it on there i would think right <coughs> this has just come out of from my knowledge okay. but i would think that information is there but whether anyone has collated that information and put it together i don't know right. i haven't seen it but i would imagine it's there okay um quick question then uh, a lot of people ask this question <coughs> what if you put the wrong amp for fuse in the wrong plug so whether you're under um, you know, valuing it or overvaluing, what happens? Under value, it will pop straight away. If you put a three amp fuse in a fire, that mm -hmm. will pop straight away. If you put a 13 amp fuse in a th where a three amp should be in a, a low value and mm -hmm. something went wrong internally, then that could cause a fire because that would give you far more current. Than so it's quite dangerous then. So it's it, it depends it on the... It is a safety factor, right? And it needs to be the right fuse for the right product, right? Okay. So in case of doubt, best not to just put a plug and try things out. No, you. It, it would. When you okay. buy a product, it will have a fuse rating stated on the product right. that you would need to use. But in general terms, if you use three amp for lighting. Um, 5 amp for general domestic appliances, mm -hmm. 13 amp for kettles, iron, so anything where you've got heat right. will be a 13 amp. Right. Yeah, and it, fire, kettle, toaster, anything where it draws heavy current will be a 13 amp. Okay, cool. But all those items will have a, a list or will be nominated within the product. Okay. I mean, um, look, looking at the types of fuses, I'm guessing, except for these two, the rest you can test with continuity, but these two, they are usually soldered on, isn't it? Yeah. So but how you do you tell if this is blown or this one is blown? Exactly the same. Exactly Even the same. if they're soldered in, okay. you would just bridge the two connections right. and you would get a zero reading. Okay. If you bridge the two connections, then there will be no continuity of, of electricity. You will get no reading. So exactly the same as any other fuse. Brilliant. And um, a pack of fuses is not expensive, is it? Oh. It's on, on eBay, you know, pound, two pounds. You should always keep a few around, correct? Always. Uh, again, I always buy, especially the 13 amp, always buy a proprietary brand. MK, always buy a proprietary make. Not saying that some of the foreign are not as accurate with their set, but with a high current fuse, I would buy a proprietary brand. Always make sure. Okay, call you cheap don't necessarily save your money good old adage excellent well alvin thank you so much once again for your expertise and hopefully we're going to see you more on the channel my pleasure <laughs>